introduce the horizontal stack, uh, or the H stack, or the host stack. And uh, it fits the big idea because we're trying to spread out. We talked a little bit before about the defense's uh, objective is to compress, and the offensive uh, uh, objective is to expand. So we're trying to spread out as much as possible and create space as many as to maximize live spaces on the field. Um, and just to briefly touch on that, uh, the, the dead spaces we find in the offense are along the sidelines, uh, both for the handlers and for the cutters. And the live spaces and uh, where we want to really attack uh, is the area in the middle of the field. Um, we, uh, we think that this uh, offense is advantageous against a man defense, especially if you uh, consider yourself a more athletic team than uh, the defenders. If, if we find they're playing a man defense, it's a way to isolate man-on-man -man situations and giving the cutters in the live part of the field the most area possible to work with against their isolated uh, defender. Um, <coughs> we also think it's an advantage that you're able to assign somewhat uh, positions on offense, whereas maybe a vertical stack or some other stacks the positions can fluctuate a little bit more and it cycles everyone needs to be, both handlers and cutters. In this situation, if you can determine individuals on your team who are very strong uh, cutters or deeps or handlers, you can pretty much set them back as uh, three handlers or cutters or deeps, however you want to assign them into the offense so you can take advantage of uh, individual team strengths. You know, it's also easier to transition to a zone defense if you find yourself going against the zone, you already, already have your three handlers set up in the back, and then you can transition however you choose to attack the zone. Um, the, uh, one of the things we want to focus on is always having two options. So either if the disc is to the side, uh, having a, either, either making a, a deep option, or an in, or a short option. In the, in the event of a bracket, so if they have someone assigned specifically to a, to a in, to, to a short or a deep, then also making two options by making uh, your defender make a decision, so timing a cut, so one person goes first and trying to get the defender to commit to one side, and then having another option. So having two options in any direction, either two options on an in cut and spreading the defender, or having two options vertical deep and short to create two options. Um, it cycles in a way where, uh, in general, uh, trying to keep to certain lanes and cut, not cutting, cutting in front of the other cutters, but also if uh, we're getting tired to cycle to the dead spaces as cutters. So once these guys have made their three or four sharp cuts to cycle to the dead space and let a more rested player come in to cycle out. Another option is to have handler cuts from the handlers. They can also cycle into a cutter. So if you feel comfortable switching between a uh, handler and a cutter role, you can cycle that way too. So the, the cutter comes in. He, as soon as he receives that pass, you can make this a give and go. And that, 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 that um, thrower can immediately cycle into, into cutter. Um, for us, we didn't have any like specific drills but uh, to, to work on this offense. I thought it would be a good idea to isolate uh, the individual positions, either one way or other, either isolate it um, vertically or horizontally. So you could just isolate these three handlers, and you could work on a drill that works on a three-man weave, or working between uh, three handlers and a man defense, or you can split it uh, the other way. So split it this way, or maybe even in the middle, and have a drill where you have two cutters, and they're working against a defender and coordinating their cuts cutting off each other, so either a bracket situation where they're timing one cut and they have to read that man, or a situation um, where uh, the one person cuts first and the other person just has to read what his partner next to him is doing. So just basically breaking it down so it's not a whole field, but just for the drills to make it smaller and break it down to different components of the offense to try to, try to isolate what you're working on. So that was our horizontal